Hey Sugar Snaps, welcome to the Textile Indie YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Brittany. If you're an old friend, welcome back. Glad to have you. Today I have a couple of different projects that I'm working on that ultimately will end up in a weaving project. So it is daffodil harvesting season. So if you're into forage basketry, I'm going to be harvesting the daffodil leaves and stems from my family's daffodil patches, drying them, going through a harvesting process, using those to make cordage. And then I have a fun idea of how I can put that into a project. So it is warming up here in the Pacific Northwest. We've done some hiking and a lot of gardening. So getting outside a lot more and really enjoying that. Now let's dive into these projects today and I hope you enjoy. Well, Bailey, Aunt Teresa, and I are out here collecting daffodil leaves from one of Aunt Teresa's neighbors. They have this beautiful bed that grows every spring, and um, Teresa was kind enough to ask her neighbor if I could harvest some of the leaves for basketry. So we have these two, Bailey's got them there, two large garbage bags full of daffodil leaves. I've got my work set out for me. We're going to dry these or I, <laughs> let's be real. I'm going to dry these. Bailey has, doesn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> dry the leaves and process them for cordage and basketry projects. And Teresa, <laughs> here's Bailey. We've got our scissors, our bags full, and we're going to haul these back to the car and call it good. It definitely rained on us out here, but look at all that gorgeous, gorgeous stuff to work with. I've been cycling the daffodil leaves through my drying rack and I have them set on my planting shelf here because it has nice airflow around it. I've laid the daffodil leaves on these so that they can thoroughly dry. So I have a set of more fresh that I got from mom and then this set that Aunt Teresa Bailey and I harvested. And pull one out here, you can see it's kind of yellowed as it dried. So now once these are totally dry, I'm going to lay them in a box, um, probably in some newspaper to kind of roll them up into smaller bundles. And they're super brittle, so I need to work really carefully as I lay them in and then store them in that manner until I'm ready to use them. Once I'm ready to use them, I can take a wet cloth, lay some in that wet cloth, and then roll it up, let it sit overnight to soften them. They'll suck up the moisture from the damp cloth and become soft and then I can make cordage. If you enjoy basket weaving or other fiber arts, like this video because it supports my channel and keeps me being able to do this, thanks so much for doing that. I have a bundle of damp daffodil leaves here now and I'm going to start a strand of cordage. With the daffodil leaves, because they're so thin and they twist down, so fine. I'm not going to split them in half like I would for a thicker leaf. I'm going to find a nice sturdy length and then fold it in half and I twist away from myself and then switch, twist away from myself and switch. So I'm going to make some cordage because I want to have cordage to put into a hat that I'm going to weave. Thank you. 
If you've ever wondered what it's like to weave a basket and you want to try it yourself, check out our online video courses. I teach rattan basketry through video courses and instruction manuals step by step so that a beginner can dive in and learn how to weave their own basket. So if you're interested in weaving a basket, check out textileindy.com and the description below. I have all of our video courses there you can take a series of three baskets at a time and go through start to finish how to weave that specific basket some of them are represented here and once you have learned some of the skills you can kind of dive in and weave your own baskets make your own designs or continue with the basketry series and learn all 12 baskets that we have represented in our course library I am borrowing Bailey's beauty school head. This is her hair cutting model that she used in beauty school. Borrowing this as a mannequin to weave my hat around so that I don't have to try to weave it on my own head. I measured her and her name is Ladella. Ladella's head is the same size as mine. I haven't completely decided on my hat design, but I do know that I want it to be kind of a straw hat style garden with garden hat with the wide brim.
Well, Sugar Snaps, we've come to the end of this journey. Thanks for joining me in this project. It was really fun to do and really fun to share with you. So thanks so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Until then, happy making. Bye.